And right now with the Louis as the Clint, Clint can win the lane unless he's going to fight against this Lilia. I have a fun fact, guys. This Lo Yi did not appear a single time in MPL Season 8, but that Lo Yi was the favorite hero of Clay back in MPL Season 7. And now the Philippines will wrap up their draft with the Matilda. All right, back in MPL Season 7 when he finished third place with Genflix Airwolf. That was his hero. 88% win rate after picking it 18 times. This man on that Luo Yi was a monster. That was why, why RRQ looked at him and like saw the potential. We want this kid and we're picking it up. Let's see if he can perform on that Luo Yi here today. Yeah, honestly, fighting against the Luo Yi, that's super annoying because when you want to go in for a team fight, you really have to watch out because you don't want to get too close to your own team because if you're having the light color and then you have the purple color and then you just, you're just going to get a lot of trouble from your own side of it because it's, it's such a thing where you have to reprogram your head to be far away from your team. So right now from the side of Onyx Philippines, every single engage that they have to go into, they really have to look at Clay on this Louis and like you said, his Lu Yi is amazing. It's not going to be as easy given that they don't have the same vision they had from game number one. Uh, on PH, they also have to recalibrate, readjust. Yeah, absolutely. But ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to see the hype from the chat. Hashtag it's Onyx time or hashtag Viva RRQ. Let's support the teams as they go to war in the second game in the Land of Dawn. Game number two, it's another story, but Hatred still playing that show. Alongside Beloisi's Matilda, there's still a lot of potential here for mechanical outplays, but again, I will have to... Oh, give me a second. Araki Yoshi came to play. They, they brought a little bit more firepower this time around. Yeah, a lot of firepower in the early stages. Zin and Marky go out in the gold lane. Marky going in very aggressively. Zin forced to recall right now with one HP. But one of the main conditions that you said was Zin needs to step up in this best of five. And look at that mid lane. Hatred already getting bullied out of his lane by Clay. Yeah, I feel like this is one of the strategies coming in from Ani Philippines because again, Marky has been getting that that lane matchup win from the side of the EXP lane. It seems very normal. It seems very um, you know we, we've seen this this matchup for quite a while, but right now from the side of Ani Philippines as well, our Yoshi. I want to see the jungler matchup. Yeah, let's see. Albert already now going in already aggressively onto that mid lane. Kyrie is already waiting as well as Albert just keeps on dashing with the puncture, going on to Hatred one more time. Thorn rolls onto Veloisky right now as that's going to be Kyrie oh. going up in. It's going to be the first blood picked up by Kyrie as he jumps and takes all the plays! Ooh. Almost getting oh. Albert! He's still able to outplay. Hatred oh. goes in and Kyrie styles on RRQ Hoshi once more. That was so flash. Okay, a lot of jumping going around. Front to back, left to right, from the side of Audi Philippines. They did that such with so much style. Right now, from the side of RRQ Hoshi, that is not what we're supposed to see. We're supposed to see the Lancelot taking out this Ling, but Ling right now, 1, 0, and 1. When a scaling hero has the advantage, that's a big advantage. 1,000 gold lead for Onyx Philippines right now. Leo, this is looking really good as Dlarski, look at what he's doing. He's actually just baiting the turtle right there so that RRQ won't have the opportunity, won't even have the chance to look for it. Yep, again, this is just what this Uranus does on Dlarski. It owns a part of the map. And look at what Hatred and Kyrie are setting up. Oh, Hatred going to the backside is oh. going to be able to get the way the dragon, but a very, very nice flicker by Clay. And now it's the re-engage from RRQ. Beloisky, though, does a lot of damage onto Clay. This is Clay with very low HP. He needs to be backing away right now, but Dolarski is in the midst of it all. Let's see what happens here. RRQ backing away. All right, disengaging. Mm -hmm. Again, just as long as Dilarski owns that quarter, nothing is easy for RRQ. Nothing comes close to even achievable because of how far Dilarski can cut. And look at this, oh. Kyrie threatening the steal. Does he get it? He does! Oh my god, Kyrie was able to take it with a retribution and instantly Finch poises away with the help of Hatred and Boloisky who has rotated to that bottom side. Amazing retribution from Albert. More than a week into well, M3, I can say that Kyrie has just evolved. Kyrie yeah. has just become a better jungler than he was day one. And I think there is one key factor here. He's just more used to the phones we're using right now. That's a legit fact. I've spoken to the young man and he 
admitted that this is not the size of phone he was expecting coming into M3. And after days of competition, look at what he's doing. Look at how far he's yeah. performing. Just out of his mind. Even Albert must be surprised at this point. Absolutely, man. Everyone expected Albert to be the one with the better mechanics, quote unquote, right now. But let's see. It's an all out fight coming in. Boloski going for the circle. Eagles giving the I'm better connecting. And that's going to be Albert picking up the portal right now as RRQ have flipped the switches right now. This is going to be Kyrie backing away. Falling Simon connecting on Zlarski right now. The burst will be able to connect onto Zlarski oh. and oh. finishing him off. Not just yet, though. He's still able to run away, but oh. R7 flickers forward to finish the blow. And that is an 800 gold lead left for Onyx Philippines. Honestly, right now, from the side of Ani as well as RQ Hoshi, this is actually quite a big win for RQ because for the side of Delarski, I, I have no idea how he's how he's playing this Uranus because he's dancing a lot of everything. And right now, RQ getting those two kills is, is very instrumental. The gold lead is no longer 1,000, but RQ, they still need to pick this up. Yep. So far, the past five minutes have been exactly what I expected from minute one of game one. There's just so much happening. Mechanical outplays, the only other thing we're missing is an Albert Savage. But I, I, it might come here, given that they have a better groove. They have more mojo now. And now that the outer turret energy shields are down, expect that Dilar's is going to rotate a little more aggressively. Ooh, look at the damage coming up from Clay, taking half of Kyrie's health bar. But RQ has rotated oh. to the bottom side. Marky now is going to be the target, but he's still able to run away. R7 now goes in for a 1v3 way. The Dragon to kick him back to the team. And R7, he's trying to run away, but Kyrie is coming in for the kill. That's another pickoff for Onyx PH. Kyrie right now is looking so crazy, so strong. To think earlier we would want to carry him. Oh, look at that! Albert just keeps on going in, Phantom Execution, and also the Thorn Rose to zone Dolarski away. But in the end, they don't get anything on the board. Meanwhile, oh. Clay almost styling and killing Boloyski, but Ling is in that top side, just munching on the turret right now. Oh. Been trying to get a pick off onto Marky. Will be able to get the I'm offended. Now the rotations Building have made their way. Destroyed. Marky popping the black shoes and unfortunately still able to run away. But did you see? The Phantom Execution prediction as a diversion comes through. Clay gets in it and rotates back to the mid lane. There's nothing that will stop Albert from getting his num nums. He saw Marky, he said, Marky num num, I'm gonna take it underneath the turret, but we're still looking for good conversions because Onyx PH, they are, they're maintaining that 1k gold lead despite it being 3 3 now and despite them finding more. But look, Hatred still finds one and manages to get away with it. Yeah, Hatred. Unless, oh unless, my God. unless Albert has something to say. No, he's okay. No, Beautiful. I feel like that was the correct move coming in from Hatred because looking at his game, Clay is definitely the person that you need to kill off first. Oh, but wait a minute. Now it's going to be Kyrie going in for the Tempest of Play. Still able to go in onto the turtle right now as Albert has made his way back to this. He's going to be the turtle taken away by Kyrie. Albert goes in doing some damage, but unfortunately unable to target anyone. He might be the target right now. Oh, He's going to get slain. Oh. And RRQ, they're looking side, but Clay, he comes in. He sees Kyrie and he saves the team one more time. R7 is looking for the kill. He will be able to get it. Hatred goes in for the way. The dragon is R7 tries to kite away from Hatred. He's still able to outplay R7 with a double kill as he flickers backwards and Clay is there for the peel. Right now, looking at the side from Maruki Hoshi again, Clay is putting in work 0, 1, and 3. But look at the damage. Look at the crowd control. Right now, I Philippines, I feel like they need to set up for this banana split. They need to avoid the team fights because right now, sure, it looks like they can still win it, but. Now it's 5-5, five to five. RQ Hoshi, I feel like this is their game to win if everything goes the way that it has been right now. There's only so many mechanical outplays and amazing Tempest of Blades you can do until it's too late, until that, until it doesn't really matter, right? So I think you're right, I agree with you, LaFell. Stop fighting RQ Hoshi where they want you to fight, set up the banana split, and then go from there, because these four, five-man collapses between these two teams, that's not how Onyx Page is rolling. That's RQ Hoshi's style, and so far I think they picked up on it. This is yeah. them just dialing back, staying on their course, staying in their lane, Hatred just split pushing top lane. Love that. I love that by them. They know that this show has scaled, not scaled, but has gotten that power spike, right? And with the high and dry that he brought, it's going to be really good for them to pick out objectives with the split push, and that's exactly what Onyx are trying to do here. The banana split coming destroyed. true time and time again for Onyx PH. But wait a minute. Ooh, what just happened in the mid lane? It's look, it looks like Marky just got picked off, and Vin was the one who used that I'm offended to pick him off with the help of Albert's Phantom Execution. 
Right now, it just becomes a situation where even even the observer is like, you know what? <laughs> when, when when Clay is getting this pay, we, we can't show it off because it is very nasty. Because the way that he controls the opponent is is not cool. It's not cool, man. And right now, hatred. Oh. Yeah, hatred goes over the way. The dragon onto Zin still able to get the Jikundo, but Iron Fender coming in for the peel is going to be able to get him down right now. A Sonic look for the re-engage onto the bottom side turret. They know they can't fight in that top side. Let's go for the banana split as usual. Kyrie already making his way onto that. Tier 2, but R7 has charged at the following time, but will be able to connect onto the minions. Kyrie still has the pinch points to get out. Yeah, uh, again, that's the reason why. Pick off after pick off, Arkyoshi were getting one kill back to back. Onyx PH, they, they've plucked out the pace. They, they, they essentially are setting up the banana split, and it's not much fun to watch. I, I just have to be honest, I have to be frank. It, it's not much fun to watch until that last moment where the opponents recognize, oh, it's too late. They've done it. And oh. so far, Arky Oshi are good at catching! Oh my god, beautiful. I'm offended by RRQ. Is able to secure a kill onto Delarski, but look, Hatred with the BOD. That's another power spike for this show. Yeah, and again, Clay. Clay is the only guy that I really want to talk about right now because everyone's mechanics is amazing, but this dude, he has a promise that he has been trying yes. to keep for the longest time. And he has shown up today because I feel like he's putting the rest of his team on his back and been going in! Oh my god, they don't even give him the chance to use the black shoes! But Kyrie, he is hungry. He's trying to go for more. Level 13 to Albert's 12. It is going to be RRQ picking that first mid turret and taking the gold lead for themselves. At some point, I, w I would say, why did Marky not use the flicker? Why did he not use the black shoes? I can't blame him. Even Bolesky here in this moment. There you go. He's going to try to oh! get away with it. But Sin's not going to let him. Beautiful from Sin there. He's able to knock him down. And that was amazing. I said it, man. During the Toad Out game, he made so many mistakes. But that is the killer instinct in him. Yeah, but that is the thing. It's not that he didn't want to do it. But again, look at the control. You have a Ruby. You have this uh, Lu Yi. And right now, we're going to look at the replay and what happened just now. And look, he is stunned. And now immobilized. And then stunned again. Brought back again. Whoa. This is the problem. Like... They're not the they're not the usual like oh pickup kind of hero yes. single target kind of hero but they have a lot of crowd control. These are the Komodo Dragons. Oh my God, Kyrie is gonna be caught on now. Temple Blaze has been used. Kyrie going back and forth again and again, still able to run away right now. As Marky picks up the kill, is the way the dragon connecting onto Clay, but the flicker once again to save him out of that. Albert goes in and that's gonna be Dolarski caught off. He's still able to flicker away. Dolarski jumps onto Zin. Not enough damage just right now as RRQ look to re-engage to go back because one player has been knocked out. It is Vin on that Ruby as now it is the items for you to dissect. There's a lot that uh, Onyx Page had to put into take out Vin. I, I would not be surprised if actually Vin survived. Uh, given his setup here, Dominance Ice, Athena Shield, has the tenacity as well. And Arky Hoshi, now that uh, the Ruby's back on the board, not gonna let this Free Lord go. Uh, I still think that Arky Hoshi has this in the bag. I think this is still uh, in their grasp. But on PH, they still have some surprises left. Oh, Kyrie, very, very risky move. They're showing himself on to Vin, but yes. Oh, Vin already calling, coming in with a conceal. Leal Lois, oh. he's still going to be the target. R7 pops in the point, Starmoon able to connect, but no commitment just now. It is going to be RRQ just backing away and resetting for the Lord. They don't really want to go for any overcommitments. If they don't get the initial burst, initial dive, let's just stop. Right now, let's look at the draft from Oni Philippines. They have the Cho, they have the Ling. Both of these heroes can confidently go to the side lanes and then come back to initiate any kind of fight. But right now, we're looking at the Larski on this Uranus. He himself is trying to push the side of RRQ Hoshi. Even if they split up, it's fine because all they need is Clay and one other damage dealer, and they're good. It can be Zin, it can be Albert. Honestly, it can be anyone. Even he himself is strong enough to deal the damage because looking at the items from Oni Philippines, they have not built any kind of magic resist. The only magic resist is on the Larsky, and that's the Oracle. So as of right now, Clay is doing the highest damage that he possibly can. Oh, that is insane. Honestly, Clay, 3, 1, and 5, the most consistent member on this team so far with Zin, all right? Both of these players have just been playing out of their minds, but 8 KP, the highest KP is Vin, 9, 90% right now, 13 minutes in as Onik. They just, they're just, they keep on pressuring these neutral objectives, not just the neutral objectives, just the objectives on the go. You see the top side being pushed, the bottom side as well, and this is just really good. Vin misses on that I'm offended, and it won't be a fight. Exactly right. Onyx PH, they know that they can't pick fights just yet. So they're going to try oh, oh, oh. to threaten 
these small objectives and just the map in general, which is impressive. Because again, Onyx PH, when it comes down to firepower, they haven't built said magic defense items. So Clay, they have to respect Clay. Uh, if it's not Clay, then maybe even um, R7 will hurt. So that's why R7's sitting at a very lovely 3-1-1, and he's been pushing back two people. He doesn't mind. He's pushing back two people from Onyx PH like it's nothing. But just the same, there's so many things Archeoshi can do. I'm looking for a good diversion play. That's the only other thing that Clay can do that'll make me go wow even louder. If he can find a solid diversion, because that would just ruin Onyx right now. Absolutely. 400 gold lead. That was, you know... So far right now, it's just been the story of the turn, the turning tables, but Vin gets the I'm offended. The burst comes in, Boloiski should be able to get out of that one. Yes, will be, but he lost a lot of health, and that may mean that Boloiski needs to recall here. He needs to reset. Yeah, there you go. So, wait a minute, Kyrie, that was very aggressive. But yeah, with him recalled, RQ will have a good, very good setup here for the Lord, and they might just take it. And right now, this game is slowing down because both of these teams the thing that we're watching here, folks, is a battle of macro, not micro. It's not about the mechanics of each player right now. It's the decision making in understanding where they need to be and when they need to be there. It's right now from the side of Audi Philippines. They have controlled the side lanes very, very well. The Cho staying up top. Uranus going down in the bottom side. And Arki Hoshi, they're basically controlling the riverside. Oh, right yep. They're going to go for Dolarski right now. Conceal has been popped. Dolarski is going to get caught out right there. Still able to run away with the flicker. Beautiful by Onik. But that was a good, good try by RRQ as well. Literally, Dilarki just crossed paths with a four-man kill squad from RQ Hoshi. There were some resources spent on either side, right? A flicker on Dilarski, the conceal uh, from Vin. But just the same, we're back to equilibrium. Both lanes, or all lanes, are equally almost blue and red at the same time with people from both teams setting oh. up. And here's what I was looking for. Where do they go? Where do they go? Oh, this is the setup right here. Dilarski, they don't know. Shh, don't they don't know. Everyone, shut up. Shh. This is oh, okay, for now, it's gonna be Onyx still on the move. They are on the Lord. We don't know right now if the Prey knows about RRQ, but they are going slowly into the jungle, moving oh, inside. Oh, oh, oh. And there, it's gonna be Kyrie spawning them up. And this is a flank by RRQ, but it will not be for anything. That was a good try, but okay. again, yeah, that Onyx was quite the national. Really, that, yeah, we were, we were a, getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a good. It's a good <laughs> rehearsal of what might actually happen. <laughs> True. We saw the intention executed. Oh! Not the skill. Oh! What? Oh! Kyrie oh! jumping into Clay. Clay still able to run away, but it's going to be the Tempest of Blades to seal his fate. As that is going to be the shutdown coming in. He still wants some more, though. He jumps onto Vin and he finch poises back. But that is the mage, the main man in these team fights that's making it so hard for Onyx to get in out of this <gasps> already. Let's see if R7 can defend. If Vin can still get in there with a quarter of health. Onyx, they're marching. They're munching on this Lord Health right now. Zin is going to be able to deal some damage onto Dolarski, but same goes for Marky right there. It is a free Lord for Onyx Philippines with the beautiful macro out of nowhere. Crazy engage. Masterfully manipulated the schemes from Onyx PH. It took them, what, a couple of minutes, maybe three, to actually set it up, but they actually pushed in a wave down bottom. Enough to distract Arkyoshi to making that diversion play, and now they're just blasting off on each other in mid. Yeah, R7 goes in for that Falling Star Moon, only connecting onto Beloisky, and that is Kyrie jumping to the mid lane turret, not even respecting the damage or the CC anymore because they have used it. This is insane. Onik are playing out of their minds. Right now, honestly, from the side of both teams, forgive me for saying this, but it's the prey outsmarting the predator because yeah. right, just now, Araki Hoshi, they were setting the trap. But Ani is like, oh, we know what you're trying to do. We hear the nature documentary. And right now, Ani Philippines, they're taking control of the map yet again. Oh, Marky pops the black shoes, is able to reposition himself right there. He knows the chain CC that comes through from RRQ. It looks like they are just going to defend at this point, man. That is the Lord for Onik PH, and that is Dolarski just pushing in the waves. Yeah, at this point, this is really, really hard for RRQ to go for anything on the board. It's going to be Vin trying his best to go and look Ooh. for the I'm Offended, but it's actually going to not connect right there. R7 is able to go to the back oh. of the time with a lot of damage has been placed right there by Clay to nullify all that. Engage, Marky! Uh, he's in for it, but he's still able to run away. Not for long, though, as the Flame Retribution will be able to catch him destroyed. there. But three inhibitor turrets have been taken down from the on... Oh, wait a minute. Diversion! Or oh, a 2-5! Oh. What the... 
the heck? Time for the blaze has been used. Kyrus leaving oh. out for now. Going even a bit twice and running away. It's on the time, baby. They keep on outplaying RRQ. I don't know what's more impressive. What? The fact that there was the instinctual play from Clay to say, let's catch him. They're right here. Or how Kyrie just knocked up all four members and said, I'm out. Honestly, back to back to back outplays by Onik. Where in Ara Yoshi, you could have sworn they were set up for success, but just like that, Onyx still says, nah. -uh. Mm, beautiful. Again, RRQ, they're trying desperately to look for a fight right now. I'm trying to connect now with Larsky, and then he's gonna be bursted down right there. And yeah, damage will be enough. But Loisky needs to be careful because remember, RRQ only need one fight to turn the tables. This is only a 3,000 gold lead. Very easy to come back from. R7 goes in once again. Hatred brings him back to the base with the way the dragon is. Loisky comes in as well, but he cannot fight. Look. At the movement from Albert. He gets a pick onto Marky right now as Kyrie tries to do the same but onto the minion waves. He has the Finch Voice to get himself out, and that is going to be RRQ now on the offensive. Yeah, again, from the side of Ani Philippines, they're dancing around everywhere right now. RRQ Oshi, it looks like they're having a difficult time trying to keep up. But again, the, the idea that Onyx Philippines has is that they know what RQ is doing before they do it themselves because every single time they engage, oh, but speaking of that, Lois is getting engaged on. Oh my god, the chain CC just the keeps on coming and he's gonna get picked off right on the board. RRQ, they love going for these crazy picks. You can see how they control the bushes with Kyrie. He is in that top side. He might be looking for something as R7 goes in for the point time under the turn zones Kyrie away. RRQ, they're making the seats right now and it's actually the turn tables coming in. Here, Kyrie jumps in on the two members, still able to get CC'd right now as RRQ keeps marching down. They might just look for the end here. This is very, very weird, but it might happen. The, again, they are four members strong, only one member dead. Right? Oh! oh! Sin gets caught out! I'm gonna look at a combo wombo! Time for the blaze right now by Kyrie, dashing all over the place, still able to run away for a number. It's gonna be Albert jumping into the backside. It is the Larsky trying to do the same. It's gonna be Clay trying to pick up the kills, but Albert comes in last second to zone them away. Diversion to get them out, and that's that is a one for zero for Onyx PH. The only two deaths on Boyloiski were in uh, where RRQ Hoshi set up a death bush. Uh, a few of the other kills on Dilarski were the same when he was buying time. What am I trying to say here? RRQ Hoshi, yes, they find great conversions, but only, only because Onyx PH overcalculated how much they can give. So far, Onyx PH have been so on point when it comes to trades and turning them into potential conversions on the map. Hence, why RRQ Hoshi has no more turrets. But so far, I think, let it happen one more time. Onik, let it happen one more time and RQ Oshi is going to punish so hard. Oh, Delarski, he's zoning away the three members in the bottom side and Onik Philippines will pick up the Enhanced Lord once more. This is going to be the second Lord of the game, 21 minutes in and still only a 1,000 gold lead, but the objective speaks volumes. Yeah, but right now from the side of RRQ Hoshi, again, we saw how they can get one or two kills. And it's not like just turned the game on its head. On the Philippines right now, they do have the advantage, RRQ Hoshi. What can they do to really come back from this game? The only thing that I can see is a good timing from Clay managing to get all the members from Onyx Philippines, but if they can play this well, if the Larsky again can get the majority of the skills out from the side of RQ and then Kyrie can just go in and go ham, then there's a lot that they can do right now. Very interesting boy pushing to the side. Oh, the Larsky's gonna get picked up and that's gonna be him taken down. Immortality has been popped right now. This is gonna be a very good timing. Yes, that's gonna be the kill picked up and that's gonna be Albert running away from Kyrie as he pops the temple of the play. Still able to go ahead and win, but it's gonna be Albert picking up the kill onto him. It's gonna be him taking on oh. the winner's run chip the main oh. target right now. It's gonna be all out war. Well, it's gonna do it. be happening. It's gonna be on picking up the base just one more hit and that's match points for onyx seems like the mantra for onyx is just complete just i, I don't want to say it but disappointment when it comes to expectations you expect team fight after team fight after team fight they don't give it you expect that it's going to be a huge turnaround but they instead give one pick off and then recover i think it's this tempo Disruption that's messing with RRQ. 